Oh. Let's just get into this video. Minding my own damn business on Twitter and this is what I see. Yeah. So I was getting a bunch of crazy emails, like a lot from this guy out of nowhere. It didn't ask if you could send me files or anything. Um, and the subject line was always samples for big placements. So, you know, kind of big talk, right? What? Of course, they're all direct attachments. So this is, you know, messing up my inbox. Mm. Uh, I, I, this is why I ask people to just, you know, check in with me first to ask if they can send samples. And then I'll say, yeah, cool. But send them through like a Dropbox or something. So my inbox isn't getting full. By the way, guys, DJ Payne One create sample packs himself. And here's the proof of that. You can get this at 16levels.com. The link will be in the description box. And then I look at the terms. He wants 50-50 on everything, which is- <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, what is up with people thinking that if they send you loops, that they're entitled to anything outside of what you're gonna offer them if the, track is placed because clearly DJ Payne one can get the track placed is, you know, look, I think it's fair, but at the same time, I don't know you and you're sending me samples. You don't, you're yeah. not getting placements yourself. You're expecting me to do all, you know, the work. Exactly. Maybe the samples are amazing though, right? Maybe these are amazing samples. I don't know. So let's listen to one. Yo! <laughs> Please tell me this person is trolling. It's getting really bad. This has been an issue for quite a while where people are chopping up pre existing samples or songs and then they are expecting some type of credit or something. I don't know what it is, if that's what the new hip guys are doing, but please stop it. Now, I ain't gonna even front, like there was a market for this back in the day, clearly because it was gung-ho back in the day with sampling online, and most people didn't know how to chop their samples, so some people would provide the proper phrase out of a sample or something, or, or would crate dig for you, and then, you know, give you the sample or whatnot for X amount of price, or make it like a bundle. Now, come on now, guys, it, we have places that do the a great job of that or make just original samples 16levels.com that must be a fluke no that's a, that's a <laughs> huge sample that would cost <laughs> tens of thousands of dollars to clear let's let's see they some of them have to be original right mm. bruh again this needs to stop this needs to stop soon today anytime any week just stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Get some help. So this motherfucker is really <laughs> me. Pay one, you know I got love for you, my guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve uncleared samples to my email. <laughs> Tell him you get a big placement with these and give me 15%. I can't make this stuff up anymore. I don't know if I'm being punked sometimes. The producer community is just doing some wild ass <laughs> shit. <laughs> and see, most people will probably think that dude is trolling, but a lot of these cats are dead serious and they just want to get on the best way that they can, even if it means scamming. And that's one thing that I've been trying to do with 16levels.com. No, I'm not talking about scamming. I'm talking about establishing a legit business model, something that's clear and concise, and where people can actually get samples that are original, meaning that they are created from scratch. Shout out to Payne One, by the way. I greatly appreciate it. Y'all should check out top lines it's really dope you know he's he does his thing with the sample packs and whatnot we have to come to some general consensus of what is accepted and what isn't doing bad business repeatedly just for a little bit of clout isn't the way that you should move ever and i know validation is one of the things that we all want we all want this big placement with a artist i mean even at my age right now though I'm at an age where I know what's gonna be 
possible to what's going to be impossible uh, is just like what uh, Rick Beato was saying in his video when he was talking about quitting and how long will it last. I'm not saying that anybody should give up on their dream. I'm, I'm totally against that as far as just creating whatever or it doesn't necessarily have to be music related. It can be related to whatever you're trying to do. But make sure that you establish a business model. That's one thing that I'm going to try to explain more so on this channel on how to build a good business model and, and what things you can do to further build up a business idea. And the key thing to building a great business model is understanding that there is a problem and then having a solution for that problem. I know people get tired of me bringing up 16levels.com, but you know, our business model or our sole core niche is drum samplers and specifically the MPC series altogether. And I know my audience because I'm an MPC head myself. I have a lot of drum samplers. So we provide sample packs that are royalty free and no bullshit about it. And then there are sample clearance for commercial use guaranteed samples too as well. Like you can use them on your beat tapes or whatnot. And if you have a commercial project that you're trying to uh, get on, then you can just reach out to the people that made that pack and all of that stuff is transparent. And that's one of the things that I preach is transparency. And we have MPC expansions and MPC merch too as well. So yeah, check us out. And shout out to DJ Payne One once again. God damn.